Andrew's loading up the old ad blue. We're going to get a new one. We've run out basically. But don't worry, the Bateman is full of ad blue because we emptied it yesterday, filling it. That was after we had the problems, but just to make sure we topped the tank up as well. But it's still waiting for him to come back with a laptop again because last night it went into limp mode again and he couldn't finish the field. Right, first job of the morning now is sort this magnet out that's fell off. So the framework's all come to bits and it's come out of its hinge. So pivots on that. Anyway, last night we left it hung on the digger and it was about two inches off that pallet. Anyway, it's dropped about two inches overnight. I don't know if that's good or bad. Right, we've got it sat a little bit square. If we start it up and use the hydraulics, hopefully we can lower the frame back onto the hinge, push it all square, fold it round, strap it up, take it to the workshop and weld it. We've manipulated it with the two diggers and the, the sorry, the digger and the merlot and the rams, and we've got it on the bottom peg. We've now got to crowbar it into the top peg and then try and get it back together so we can weld all this up. Rob soon as Dukes of Hazard getting in the merlot. Struggling a bit here to get this to line up. Got a faithful ratchet strap, but it's not strong enough. Then we ended up with that spiking through here. Little bit. Whoa. Right, we've got it sat square now, so hopefully we can slip it round to the back. Concentration on Frank's face as he slews tracks. <laughs> that strap will snap in a second and it'll go flying and snap all the pipes off. Right, you can slew the grab. Little tiny bit, Frank. Sledgehammer so again, it's now. It's alright, it's going, it's going. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Whoa! But that's it. Just back off slightly now. Let go there, man. No, no, Frank, back off first. Right, I need to tap it with a sledgehammer. With a lot of wiggling and jiggling and a couple of telehandlers and a digger, we've managed to get the hinge back in. So now we just need to take it round to the workshop, jack it all up and weld it all so it won't fall down. Anyway, John Deere are here this morning now, trying to find out. We think it's the sensor that reads the ad blue quality that's acting up. Put the ad blue tank off. What, which sense are you changing? That one or that one? The whole sender. Oh, the whole up. lot? Yeah. That looks expensive. Is that not like sugar stuck to it? No, No, that's what they usually like. Right. Time to wheel a chip around to the workshop so that we can weld the magnet hinge. Get it on the Merlot now. Off we go. Andrew's putting the mud guard on the Zerion. Don't know if you can see him. No, probably not. Andrew's going sledging. Paul's here. That noise was a bearing that had picked up. We've sorted that now. We're just cutting this air pipe now on the back of the Zerion to put in a T piece with a snap connector on because we can't find locally a snap connector that's going to fit onto there. It's a funny thread. So we're just going to put the original back on and then put this T piece in line. See ya. Put that in. 
to there, hopefully. And then we'll have an air supply then at the back that we can plug into. Well, it's welded up, it's not fell off. It's hinged round, I'm just holding it now with a strap. And Rob's now gonna unfold the other elevator, put it back and then strap it back over. It's a bit weak that sometimes. Just gonna raise that elevator now. That goes vertical and then it folds back down. I'll pull this back out of the way. Right, here we go. Fold that, go on, keep going. So hopefully that now, fold round and past the magnet. Then we put the magnet back round. It's a bit slow. There we go. Now we can fold this back round. And tie it back up again. There we go. That belt's running that we fixed yesterday. That belt's running. Magnet's running. Baby's still broken. He's uh, changed the module that checks the absolute temperature, depth, quality, and all that. And now it's got a whole load more than new fold codes. So there's something going on with the John Deere absolute system on it. By the sounds of things. Andrew has got the air on working on the Zerion. Right, Andrew's just going to go and road test it now, hopefully. They've sorted it. When he filled the tank with Adblue, it kind of like reset itself, so we'll see what it does now. The battery terminal on the 936 is properly corroded. I've put WD on it, but I've got this stuff. It's dead expensive. I'm not sponsored by it, I wish I was, because it's like 10 pound a can, but it like dissolves rust and stuff. So hopefully that'll penetrate in and take the corrosion off and make it so that the battery terminals are working. Battery's still a bit flat, so I'll leave it on charge a bit longer. Our big charge is broken, so it's got a little one on. I'll have to get one. I think Cramp Cellamax will have a look on their website. After yesterday, everyone was asking what AdBlue is. Basically, you put fuel in the tractor in that nozzle and you put AdBlue in, in this. When the emissions come out of the engine, it injects basically liquid urea into the exhaust. That clean clings to the, I think it's the hydrocarbons in the exhaust and the nitrous oxide sort of car uh, particles and makes them safer, basically. But it doesn't really work in agriculture or things that don't get used a lot. It crystallizes. You can see around the cap. Maybe not, actually. But it, it turns to like sugar once the water dries out of it. And then that then sticks to all the sensors inside the tanks, its own tank and everything, or like in the nozzles, and it just blocks stuff up. And it just doesn't work. It's rubbish. It's just like a, like a sugary drink spilt. It's terrible stuff. And it causes no end of trouble on most things at the moment, but including tractors. Just been around the block on the Bateman since they've done the tweaks to the transmission. I think it drives really nice now. Andrew said in the in the field it was couldn't find the right gear, but I think it could have just been set wrong down down there because on the road it's it's really smooth now. So I'm quite happy with it. And also the ad blue fault's not come up. We've got the tank empty. Uh, I've been on a road test. He's been on a road test, and it seems to be all right now. Right, birthday bumper time before it goes dark. It has gone up by ninety-eight pound because it was obviously eighteen thousand yesterday. So Mandy Williamson is sixty. Richard Skinner, Sharon Deville, is it? Ross Buchanan is 11, Colin Pennington, happy anniversary to Anne and, sorry, anniversary to Bob and Ali, and Triona Bradfield is 30, that's uh, one from, I don't know if it's Ireland maybe, I don't know, or Europe somewhere, it's paid in Euro, so happy birthday everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday it is today. Just starting to go dark now, there's a wagon here for wheat, so we're just loading up now, this is some that are sold very well, at over £300 a tonne. The problem is now, it's um, it's only a, see me dad telling the wagon to get over because he needs to move his wood chip. I don't think he realised that he can't go much further over because the chip is there. Um, yeah, the problem is now it's worth like £240 a ton, which is absolutely rubbish. I've been saying this all week, but it's now time for the lights on. 
He is on the night shift doing some position packaging. Look. On the Just night shift. Your, look how busy we are. I'm happy, by the way, that we've got it. Keep it coming. I like working. <laughs> we're working past half five as well, putting these lights on this tractor. There's a thousand there. So we're putting sticky bobbles on them bits. And then we've got bungee cords over the bonnet and cable ties. We're going to go up right on the cab now. Lights are taking shape now. Kim from class has come to supervise, though she can't reach the top of the wheel. She is actually stood next to it for scale. We've trying to we got a thousand lights, so we've used um, what have we use now to four hundred. We got another six hundred to go, so we'll have like another two hundred on the bonnet and then. Maybe 300 on the bonnet and another 150 for the other side. Now we've put about half the lights on. And Rob's got his new phone, so he's playing with his new phone. It's still not an iPhone though. It's better. Right, I've had enough for today, so is Rob. Um, I think I'm coming down with like a cold or something because I've been on a plane, so I'm only feeling about 60% today. We're not the endless rages. How's everyone else feeling? Let us know in the comments. How are you, Rob? Uh, pretty good, man. Chips fix, 80%. And he's got a new phone as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, ladies. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. It's a chipper as well, not a shredder.